What's going on everybody? I'm Fearless and this tutorial is for music producers who want to get perfect beat arrangement so that artists can just hop on it and do their thing with little to no effort. We're also taking a look at how you can add excitement into your beats to keep the energy high all the way through the song, which is extremely important. So if you guys are ready and that sounds like you, let's jump right into this. All right, so first we're taking a look at a couple different arrangement styles that are gonna be most common in music today. So this is actually an unreleased song that nobody's heard yet besides you guys. You're gonna be the first. So we're gonna take a quick listen to the intro of this and see if you can't tell what the arrangement is on this beat. All right, could you tell what the arrangement was on that one? Like I said, this is a very common arrangement, and this one is going to be the 83232. So how that's going to work is the intro is going to be eight bars, then we're going to go into a 30-bar beat drop, and then we're going to continue into another 32 beats. So this one is a small variation of that arrangement, because as you can see in the beginning here, we only have four bars, and then it gets directly into the drop. And then we have our 32 beat drop right here. And the last four bars of this drop, you can see it opens up and there's no drums playing. It's just going to be the melodies and they can, the artist can kind of do their chorus little attack there. And then they can jump back into the drop again, which is going to be the same thing again, which is that 32 bar beat. So what you're going to see from these arrangements is that you can do little variations of them, whether it's four bars instead of eight, or you might be doing 32 bars or 24 bars for the drops. And that's going to be all up to you and your preference from the arrangement. Now, don't stress on this too much because the artist and the artist engineer are going to go ahead and mix it around and put it in the correct arrangement when they're writing to your beat anyways. All right, and let's take a quick look at some of the amazing exciters in this beat that works so dang well. As you can see, we're taking out small parts of the beat at different points when the artist's vocals are being soloed. So that's happening at a couple different points throughout the track. Obviously, this is, might be where the chorus is playing. Then we're doing it again right here. And you can see certain things get taken out. But another thing that works really well is the snare roll. And what you can see is that the snare roll is happening before it's actually being taken out. So it ends on the snare roll and it opens up to the artist being able to say their lyrics without much playing in the background, without any drums. And then you can see it happens at a couple other points here. We'll take a very quick listen. Now let's take a look at the second most common type of arrangement that you're going to see over and over again. All right, so the last one was the 83232. This one's going to be the 1632, 1632. So it's got a slower introduction and there's going to be more room for a chorus and things to happen in the middle of the beat. So as you can see here, in the first eight bars, we're introducing just the melody. But on the second set of eight bars, before the drop comes in, we're introducing a couple of the drums. We got the snare and the hi-hat. And it's going to be very important if you have 16 bars before the beat actually drops that you're adding something in on that second section. Because if the artist is just sitting there for 16 bars and nothing's changed but the melody, they're going to get tired of the beat and probably skip it. So never do this arrangement unless you're adding something in on this second set of 8 bars right here. Whether it's the 808, a bass, a hi-hat, a snare, or some other kind of drums. And then you can see right here, after the next 32 bars of the drop come in, we're doing the same exact thing right here on what you may consider the chorus, where we're dropping it back to the melody, bringing in a couple drums, and then going back into the next part of the drop before it comes to the ending here. And you may have noticed that each of these drops that I just showed you in this beat and on the last one have 32 bars. And I mentioned this before, but you can always make it 24 bars as well if you want to make it a little shorter, or sometimes you can even make it a little bit longer and add on another 8 bars. That's all going to depend on your preference and the beat that you're making. But you need to make sure that you have exciters playing throughout so that it keeps it interesting all the way through and you keep that high energy. So now let's take a look at 
the different kinds of exciters that you can add in your beats. All right, so this beat has several of my favorite exciters in it, and can you spot any of them before we jump in? All right, so the first one that's very common is you can see that the kick gets introduced on the second set of eight bars in the drop. We're playing it with just the 808 at first because we got a nice loud 808 thumping and then the kick comes in and it just adds that extra little bit of excitement into there. But the next part gets a little more complex. We're actually adding three different ones together to make this insane. So what we're doing is we actually have a hi-hat switch up, right? We have a crazy hi-hat pattern going right here and then we switch up to a more simple one where we're kind of getting rid of those lower rolls. You can see the difference as we switch between them here. And while we're switching between these different hi-hat rolls, we're adding different things. So once we get to the more simple approach of the hi-hats, we're adding in the open hats, which are gonna come in. And we're gonna take a listen to this in just a second. And we're also adding that kick in at that section as well. So we're going from a crazy hi-hat section where the hi-hat is dominating the beat, and then we're going into a more simple hi-hat where we're laying back and allowing some of the other drums to come in like the kick and the open hats. All right, so we're gonna take a quick listen to this drop now so that you can see the different exciters in play and how they keep the energy up as the beat progresses through the drop. Alright, so before we move on to the next beat, the last exciter that I wanted to show you guys is that we're using a crash symbol at the start of every eight bars. And that's just going to allow that next part of the drop to come in really nice and hard. Okay, so now that we took a look at that complex approach with all those different exciters working at the same time, let's take a look at a much, much simpler approach that's just as effective. So there's really only one main exciter in this one. Can you spot what it is right now? It's pretty similar to the last one we talked about, which was the crash, but in this one, we actually have a stomp that's playing on the first eight bars of every single part of the drop. And along with that, we also have a riser that leads up to that stomp. So they, they kind of work in tandem together really well to make it just add so much energy to that drop. And this is a simple arrangement hack if you want to keep your arrangement more simple in your beats. So as we look through this, the arrangement is a lot simpler itself, right? We're not doing much changing. It's pretty much the drums all the way through the entire beat. So this is a really good hack if you want to do that by just using a stop or a crash like we did in the last one. You could even use an open hat to do it as well. And then you could even add in this riser if you want as well to give it a little more excitement. All right, now let's take a look at one more beat, but this one uses the most common exciter that can literally be used in any situation or any beat that you want. So this one's the best, technically. What's really nice about this beat is the progressive melodies. And as you can see, as we look through here, the melodies are continuously changing up. No two of them are going to be the same until obviously they overlap, right? And another quick thing that we're doing in this one as well is we're adding in a bass on the second four bars of the intro. This bass right here just makes the intro a little more exciting before the actual 808 and the drop kicks in. And as you can see in the chorus, we're also adding that bass on the second set of four bars as well. And another thing we're doing is we're actually adding some of the drums that come in before the drop comes in again. All right, so have you guessed the most common exciter yet? You've definitely seen it, and we've already talked about it as well. It's actually introducing the kick. As you can see, the bass comes in here by itself, a nice, sexy sounding 808, and then the kick comes in on the next set, and it really just adds that extra bit of excitement into the beat.
So as you can see, as soon as that kit came in, boom, the beat just got twice as exciting because it really does add that much. So we just went over a ton of different exciters in this video and you don't need to use all of them in your beats. Sometimes you can get away with just using one and other times you might want to combine a bunch of them to make the beat more exciting all the way through. So it's going to be up to you and it really depends on the arrangement of your beats, what your melodies are like, how complex your drums are and a series of things like that to depend on what's going to work best in your situation. So definitely start practicing this and see what works best in your beats. So now that you have a professional arrangement and your beats are super exciting all the way through, the only thing that's left is a professional level mix. So you can watch this video right here and I'm going to show you exactly how I get my mixes to sound so cush, so ah, so crisp throughout. So check that out and I'll be catching you guys again in the next one. Peace.